Got another brilliant question that's come up about DACs and specifically whether or not if you've got active speakers which have a DAC built in and you've got a CD player with the ability to take the music out digitally straight into the active speakers where the digital to analog conversion can be taken place within those active speakers. Is it worth having an external um, DAC in the middle of that process to do the conversion or are you just wasting your money? Are you keeping the seller's pockets full and your pockets empty? Or is there actually a sound benefit to having something in the middle? In this video, I'm gonna tell you all the things that you might need to look out for, so stay tuned. So, Team Spirit 91, right, basic query for you. My CD player separate has optical out. My cheap Amazon DAC has optical out and RAC, RAC out, I think it means RCA out. Uh, but at any rate, will the sound be the same? Optical CD to optical speaker, or should I try optical CD player to DAC and then from RCA, and then RCA from DAC to speaker? Right, so I think basically what he's saying is this. Um, is there a benefit of if he's got a DAC that's already built into his active speakers, so he can take the digital out from the back of the CD player via optical, plug it straight into the back of the uh, in, in active speakers with the optical in, where all the digital to analog conversion is being taken place within those speakers, or is he gonna see a sound benefit from using his Amazon DAC beforehand? So he's gonna go optical out from the CD player to optical in to his Amazon DAC, and then he's going to take, when that's converted to analog, he's going to take RCA from the back of the uh, DAC and put it into the analog in of the active speakers rather than taking the CD player and using that directly into the digital in in the back of the active speakers. I hope that is clear as mud. <laughs> Hopefully it's clearer than that. Um, so, okay, the, right. So it, it sounds like he's in the brilliant position of having a DAC already, an Amazon DAC, so we can try these things out. Because a lot of it's gonna come down to um, the quality of the DAC in question. And here's where you can, here's where you can test it a little bit, right? Because this is one of the occasions where you can use a little bit of uh, sort of reasoning, I suppose, in order to come to the decision, right? In this case, he's got, what well, sounds like, by his own admission, it was a cheap Amazon DAC, like this one, this was a cheap Amazon DAC too. It's actually brilliant, and I suspect this one's probably pretty good too. But if it's if it's a cheap one, and 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 you've got some mega expensive, perhaps his perhaps his active speakers are some top of the line, twenty thousand pound, all singing, all dancing, audio file grade thing with some super duper fancy DAC in it. The chances are that your you know hundred quid, seventy quid, fifty quid DAC isn't going to go and sound better than that. Right, but if you've got modestly priced active speakers, then any sort of an external DAC may well sound better. Just because it only has to be a DAC, it doesn't have to be doing anything else. It doesn't have to be a speaker. It doesn't have to be an amplifier. It doesn't have to have a Bluetooth mo module in it. It doesn't have to have cones and a cabinet and all that stuff. It's literally just a chip with a case around it and some knobs on the front. That's it. That's all it has to do. So it's, 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 a, it's a simpler unit, which means that more of the money that's in that product can be spent on the DAC chip than if it's a, if it's a component in, 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 a, in a more complicated system, if that makes sense. So what I would do, if I wanted to find out whether or not the right thing to do would be to, as you say, run the CD player out from optical into the optical unit there, and then from the RCAs there into the analog of his active speakers, or whether or not to just simply run the analog out of the CD player and into the optical in of the speakers and yet let the DAC in the speakers take care of it, is try both and see which one you prefer. But my hunch is you're gonna get better sound out of the external DAC. The beauty is it sounds like he's got both, so you should try both. So that's it. Should you use an external DAC? Yes, if it sounds better. May well, not always, but may well. So be prepared if you can to return the DAC if you want to try it and then it doesn't work out and the thing that you're using already already sounds better. So that's something you should try, right? Is, is experiment with these things and play with them. See which one of these 
solution sounds better for you because a lot of it's going to come down to your own hearing and your own taste because it might be that one of them is sounds richer than the other one of them sounds a little crisper than the other one of them has a bit more treble than the other or a bit more bass than the other stuff like that and it depends on your personal preference it depends on your room acoustics it depends on how old you are I am getting on a bit. I'm a middle-aged bloke now, so my top end has sort of gone quite considerably from my hearing. And if you're of my age or above, your top end hearing will have gone as well. So, you know, if something boosts the trebles a little bit, you may well find you're getting more detail out of the music. Whereas if you're younger, you might just think that something that's a bit more bassy, you know, is nice to sound. But but if it doesn't particularly emphasise the top end, it doesn't matter because you're you've got hearing like a dog already, and so you don't need that. So those are all factors to potentially think about or at least some of them so i hope that helps um so yeah uh, if you've got both uh teen spirit 91 which it sounds like you do try both a b test them go directly from the cd player into the power speakers active speakers and then unplug that and then put the DAC in the middle and see which one you prefer which one sounds nicer that'll tell you everything you need to know right as always thanks very much for watching please subscribe if you've not done so already and if you really like this content and want to support the channel by helping me buy more music, which I can then review and share and uh, share the enthusiasm for in this channel, there's a thanks button underneath here. You can press that and give me some money to send, spend on music and things so I don't end up in the poorhouse. <laughs> so, cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.